Hello friends, welcome to the toothscorner.com videos. Is fruit bad for people with diabetes? Let us follow some steps while consuming fruits and also know the fruits to avoid having diabetes. Let us begin. Fruit contains carbohydrates and natural sugar called fructose, which might increase your blood sugar levels, but it can still be a portion of your meal. Fruits are loaded with vitamins, minerals and potent plant compounds called phytochemicals. Now let us go through a few steps to keep in mind while consuming fruits. Firstly, keep a track of the number of fruits consumed, especially with dried fruits. Fresh or frozen fruits are a better option. Processed fruits or juices and canned fruit in syrup or juice often have a larger quantity of carbohydrates, resulting in a hike in blood sugar levels compared to fresh fruits. While buying processed fruits, always check the ingredients. Many brands add a massive amount of added sugar. Juices have less fiber than whole fruits resulting in slower digestion and a hike in sugar level, resulting in type 2 diabetes. You should not consume fruits in a single serving. Also note down a few fruits that needs to be avoided. First are the pineapple. A piece contains about 16 grams of sugar per cup. You can eat portions of yogurt parfait to the pineapple cubes to reduce their sugary fruit intake. Next are the sweetened cranberries. Real cranberries have low sugar content as compared to the ones which have been dried and sweetened. Raisins. One cup of raisins contain 115 grams of sugar. Grapes instead or a handful of almonds are a better to balance the sugar intake. Next are the figs. One cup of figs contain about 29 grams of sugar. Tangerines. One cup about two tangerines contains over 20 grams of sugar. Next are the kiwi. Instead of kiwi, add some citrus avocado salad. Thus, I may conclude now that diabetics may have fruits to the minimum amount and must restrict to the mentioned fruits that has high fructose content to manage their blood sugar in a better way. Thank you.